Hello, friends. So today what we're going to talk about is um, SAS and uh, SCSS files. Now, we just have a simple HTML file right here inside of a project. In our project, it's just called SAS Experiment. And inside that, we have a CSS folder with a main.scss inside of that. And then we have an index.html. In our index.html, we have like a ul, li, and we have like a p tag right here, and each one of those has a class, wrapper, and example. And then I've also included the uh, browser reset, normalized browser reset. And then I've linked a style sheet to a CSS slash main dot CSS. Well, we don't have that CSS slash main CSS right here yet. That's what Node SAS will do. So let me walk you through that. So let's go into our terminal. And if you see, we're, we're inside of our SAS experiment uh, project file. So if you don't have, um, first of all, you want to see that you have Node SAS on your, uh, uh, on your system. If you don't have it, you can run the command node uh, dash SAS. Or well, if you don't have it, you can run npm install dash g node SAS. Now, since I already have it on my system, I'm not going to run this command. But if you run it, and you don't get any errors, then you have it on your uh, system. This dash G is so it's installed globally. If you catch an error trying to run this dash G command, this global command, then there's probably something wrong with your uh, ability to uh, install things globally. A quick and dirty way to get around that is just to put sudo in the front. So sudo npm install dash G node sass. But I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend actually changing your um, your ability to install using dash g to install things globally from Node. There's a bunch of different tutorials on how to do that in Stack Overflow. It's really not it's really not that hard. Um, but let's say you have it on your system. You just want to type in Node SAS to make sure that it works and that it's there. And it says, uh, provide a SAS file to render, example, compile foobar.scss to foobar.css. Okay, cool. So the first command that we would run, if we were wanting to do this, we go back to our Atom, see that we have our HTML file, and then in our SCSS file, let's go ahead and write something. Let's take this wrapper, this class wrapper right here, and let's do something with it. Let's just go dot wrapper, and let's just uh, make the color red, right? So if we save it, nothing has happened because you can't just write SCSS. You, this is what you want to use the node SAS for to compile it down into a uh, CSS file. So let's go back here. And since we have node SAS in installed already, we can run the command node dash SAS dash O CSS CSS slash main dot SCSS. Hit enter and it says render complete. Okay, so let's go back, and you can see that it created a main.css file, and what that has done is created that file, and it's put our scss from here into this css file. If we go back and open index, and open it in Chrome, you can see that they have turned red. Okay, so that's pretty cool, um, but if I go back to my SAS again, and I, uh, and I write, let's take that uh, example class dot example, and let's do uh, background color. Uh, let's just do it blue. Save it, and then uh, go back to our browser and refresh it. Well, nothing happens. That's because each time you have to run that command, you have to compile it down with the node dash sash sass dash o css. Run it again. It rendered it. Refresh, and now it works. Okay, so one more thing on this before we move on, because that's fairly cumbersome. Right here we're writing the the output, so it's node-sass-o. This dash o means output, and you always want to output to a folder or a directory, not a single file. So we're outputting to the CSS file. It will create the main.css file for us, and we're inputting into this main.scss file. Well, let's say that you had a bunch of scss files within your css file folder. You could run node-sass-o-css, and then instead of 
actually going to the main.scss file, you could just put the folder here, SCSS, or CSS. So it's no dash 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 o or dash output CSS from the CSS folder. And if you had a bunch of different SCSS files, it would all compile down into this main.css. We go back to our browser and refresh, everything's still working. Okay, so that's cool. So let's go back here. Let's delete this uh, CSS file that we made. Delete it, move to trash. Okay, so now we just have our main.scss file. Um, if you didn't want to keep running this command of node-sass-o.css-css, that seems like a lot to run. The cool thing about node sass is that you can use the watch flag so it continually updates anytime that you save. The way to run that would be node-sass dash o css css dash w at the end with the watch flag you hit that you hit enter and nothing has happened we go back to our file we haven't had a main.css created yet so let's change this to uh, orange let's just make a change save it as soon as we save it it compiles everything down if you go back to your terminal you can see um sorry do this again blue. Let's make both blue. You can see it's watching. It made the change. It compiled down. If we go back to our browser and update it, it's the same way. So if we go back here and we change this to, uh, I don't know, honeydew. Save it. You can see that it's compiled down. It's just watching. Anytime you save, it makes a change. And it's honeydew, but you can barely see it because it has a terrible color. Um, let's, so let's change that real quick from honeydew to something easier to see, purple. Save it. You can see it's watched and it's compiled it down every time you save. And you go back and you refresh and now it's purple. So you would just leave this window open and then make a, uh, a new window and then just get in back into your uh, project folder. SAS. And you can see now we're back in our project folder in this window doing anything that we need to do. And then this window over here would be, um, let's just do green. Save it. This window is just watching for any saves and it's automatically compiling it down, putting it in the browser. So that's basically it in a nutshell for uh, Node SAS. It's super awesome. It's I think it's better than like CodeKit or Koala. If you do have Node on your system. Um, so yeah, it, it, it does all of that for you and it's uh, pretty easy to work with. So I hope this little tutorial helped out. Peace.